So if you remember, we started seeing how tracing looked like in module one, but then we, we carried through this. In module two, we saw tracing with and and or, and then we saw tracing with conditionals. And then in module five, we saw tracing with lists, and we saw the condensed trace. We saw how we could uh, simplify this whole tracing procedure uh, into a much simpler uh, way to do it. Okay? So, uh, a lot of, so your exam's handwritten. Uh, a lot of you guys that have not practiced uh, computer science, okay, actually, put your hand up if this is your first computer science exam. Okay, so one of the biggest uh, things that you need to realize for a first timer is that your exam is handwritten. So writing code by hand is extremely important. You have to, you have to, have to, have to practice writing code by hand. If you're going to be preparing for this midterm, don't just prepare for the midterm by solving questions on your computer. Because let me tell you exactly what happens. This is exactly what happens if you're only preparing for uh, by using your computer. You're going to have like uh, say question three. Okay, you're going to have a midterm question called question three, and you're going to like code. This is the space you have to code. You're going to start coding right here, and you're going to write, and then. 80% of your code is just going to be written right here because you're going to be scribbling and you're going to be, because that's the way you write code by hand. You just naturally have to make it go to the right and right, and then when you get to the end, you're scribbling all the way at the end. And trust me, I can't tell you how many times students lose marks because at the end, you're going to have like four closing brackets. But if you're going to write four closing brackets right next to the end of the page, it's very hard for us to see how many closing brackets there are. And if we can't tell how many closing brackets there are, you're going to lose marks. So, trust me, just practice writing some uh, of these problems by hand, because if you don't, you're going to be in a situation where on your exam, you're going to have four closing brackets at the end of your page, and they're going to be overlapping with each other, and we're not going to be able to tell, and you're going to lose marks for that. And trust me, writing code by hand is very, very different than writing code on a computer. Because you can just, the computer will tell you when you're, when you're wrong. But when you're doing it by hand, you're just like, oh, do I need a bracket here? Do I need a square bracket? It's, it's, it's different. It's, it's, it's much different. Okay? So with that being said, um, we are going to be asking you to program some questions, but as far as uh, completing the design recipe, there's only, one, I think, one uh, or maybe two questions that actually ask you to write a full function with the entire design recipe. There's three functions, I believe, that uh, we actually ask you to code from scratch. So. One of them is on lists, one of them is on structures, and then one of them is on something else. So, uh, two to three programming questions. One on list, one on structures, and then one on uh, previous stuff. So modules one to three. So this is module four. This is module five. Okay. So this is definitely going to be a big chunk of your exam. And then uh, uh, so we're going to have uh, a bunch of questions that are sh not short answer, but they're they're uh, a lot like simplify this expression or tell us if this returns an error. Okay, so uh, many uh, true, false, and simplify this expression. Questions. Okay, and these are meant to be uh, more uh, straightforward and uh, hopefully these are going to be uh, easier marks. So these would be like, what is the result of plus seven with substring x, string length, blah, blah, blah. And like, what you need to do is understand what these functions do. So um, we would have another function, a question that's like, define x as a list containing three, four, five. And then we'll, we'll ask you, what is rest on first of this list. And then you have to tell us what rest on first of that list is. So just like short one line questions that ask you 
what is the result of like 5 plus 7? Or like what is the result of string length on substring of from like 5 to 7? Or some, something like that. Okay? So you're going to have a lot of questions like that. Uh, let me just open up the return. Just so I can make sure I'm not missing anything. I gotta be very careful to not split, split screens here. Because <laughs> fidget screens would cause a lot of problems here. Okay. Um, Yeah, that's honestly pretty much it. I mean, there is no, is there multiple choice? Uh, I'm going to say, so I, I group true and false and multiple choice all into like one category. And, uh, well, I'm grouping all of them into one category where simplify this expression, true and false and multiple choice is all kind of one category. Where, uh, well, you can, you can change any true and false question into a simplify this equation question. You can have a simplify this equation or you can have a true and false does this equation simplify to seven, and then true and false? And it, it, we can we can we essentially just change questions, the wording of questions. Yeah. So basically, they'll be like clicker questions. Ah, uh, simpler than clicker questions. I would say they're even simpler than clicker questions. Clicker questions are going to be more difficult than uh, some of the true and false questions down here. Um, let's see. What else do you need to know? So yeah, just be comfortable with uh, writing. Just be comfortable with writing uh, like questions from scratch. So you're like this is definitely uh, like obviously one of the most important parts. You need to make sure that you can define a function from scratch and then code something we tell you to code. Very similar to how we've done it with assignment. Obviously, it's going to be much simpler. The questions we have here, I'm looking at them, and they're much more simpler than assignment questions. And uh, sorry, is there? Uh, sorry, one more thing. One more thing. Uh, one. Uh, oh, sorry. One question on full design recipe. So you're going to have one other programming question. That's going to tell you, write the full design recipe with tests, with examples, with contracts, and everything. So make sure you know how to do that. Yeah? Does that mean we're not writing design recipes for the 2 to 3 programming question? Yeah, you're not going to, so yeah, for the 2 to 3 programming question, you're not going to be writing design recipe for those. Yeah? Well, we get access to the figure questions. Will you get access to the figure questions? Uh, no. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, the clear questions are posted on the on the on the slide. Oh, are they? No, they're not actually. Shit. Uh, yeah, no, you just have access to them. Uh, um, you could take a picture of them for the final one. Too late now, but um, yeah. A any other questions? Wait, I don't know if you're allowed to take pictures of them. Actually, don't take pictures of them. I don't think you're allowed to do that. Uh, I mean, if you want to do it, you can, but you do not have my permission. So if you do it, you can get shit. Just saying. Yeah. Where are you writing the exam? That's also a very good question. <laughs> so anything ad administrative related, I definitely have no idea about. Um, that, that answer will definitely be posted on, on the course on page or on Learn within uh, over the weekend for sure. Yeah. Did I upload a practice midterm? Um, I think we're not uploading the practice midterm. Um, uh, actually, hold on. So, uh, Brooklyn knows a lot more about this kind of stuff, so she deals with the administrative stuff, so I'll let her comment on this. Yeah, so to find out where you're sitting, there'll be a link uh, posted on the course website. So, on the CS 115 website, there's an exam tab. Right now, that information isn't put up yet, so we put up at the end of this week and at the beginning of reading week. But eventually, there'll be a link you can follow to find out what room you're in for your midterms and what seat you're in. As far as past midterms, there's past midterms on the math stock exam day, which will be showing you how to find in lab this week, and which will also be posted on the website at the beginning of next week. Okay. Everyone got that? Any other questions? It's honestly not that hard. Uh, it's not 
not easy either. I do think the final is going to be easier than the midterm. I do think the midterm is going to be harder than the final. So, I mean, if you do poorly on the midterm, don't worry. Uh, the final should be easier. Yeah?
I'm glad I finished the module. There you go. It was a little concerning. 